Hey everybody, just want to make a quick video. Uh, this is an iPad Pro 10.5 inch, came in with no touch after a screen replacement. Or, and um, first thing, of course, I checked the uh, FPCs. FPCs were good to go, all the pins diode correctly. <clears throat> so I started looking, took the shield off this area, started looking at these two Broadcom chips and just probing around. And I didn't get any straight shorts to ground. Um, so I decided, well, let me plug it in, take a look at the thermal camera. I'm going to tell you guys what, man, having this thermal camera has uh, made a lot of difference in when things get fixed and when they don't, and especially the time it takes to diagnose. So anyway, went, uh, hooked it up to power. It started to boot about halfway through the boot cycle. Um, this uh, diode here. The cap here and the resistor here started lighting up. Okay. And once it got about halfway through, a little past halfway through, it, they stopped. And they never lit up again once it was booted completely. So this uh, only happens during the boot cycle. About halfway through the boot cycle, uh, these guys will start to light up. So once I um, took the board back out, started checking. Uh, this line here had uh, a reading of about 150.150 on uh, we do diode test or test in diode mode. Uh, all these are on the same line. Um, so around 150, uh, once uh, I re removed this capacitor, it jumped up to about 290 to 300, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, so if you get one in, no touch. Of course, check your FPCs. If they're good, take your shield off and check these guys here. And if they're down around 150, you know you got a shorter capacitor along this line. All right. Hopefully, this helps somebody out. And uh, catch you guys later.